a big mature deer is not smarter. He just has more precise triggers that make him move in daylight. There's three things that influence big deer to get up on their feet. And two of those are, are constants, things you can predict. And those are date or phase of the deer season because it happens to the same day every single year. Moon, which is a constant, it's something that you can, you can see ahead of time. And the final variable that triggers when they get up on their feet and move is environmental conditions, weather. Date or phase, you just have to learn and commit to those changes throughout the deer season. Um, we got a video that'll help break that down, or you can have your own thoughts. But the important thing is to be ahead of the deer. That information, whether you get it from your trail cam or you saw it happen, a lot of times it's gone, it's out the window. Kind of like tonight. We don't have a picture of him yet in here, but we know from what we know that he should be doing this time of year, that he's going to be in here on a high pressure night in October. So we're going to be here before we get a picture of him. Moon, it's a very simple strategy. The week leading up to the full moon, it's going to be your best evening sits. The most powerful of those is probably going to be about one or two days before the fall. Always hunt the fall on the evening, though. You might, you're not going to see a lot of deer, but you might see a giant. And then the week after the fall are the most powerful morning sits. In October, date or phase, it's all about evening hunting. So you're looking for the week leading up to the full moon. That's that's your most anticipated week in October. In November, in general, morning hunting slash midday seems to be better. So you're really looking for that morning moon that week after the full. December, it reverts back to kind of like October. You're, where is that full moon in December? Because we're going to be hunting food in the evenings. So we're looking for the week prior to the full moon. So with those two things, you can kind of plan your, your hunting trips, your vacation time. Because the environmental, we can't control, obviously. That's the last factor of it. I keep that pretty simple. I just watch my my uh, weather underground for the, what I call Magic X days. We got a video on it. You're just looking for high pressure fronts, okay? So when you've predicted a week and then you also get a high pressure front in that week and all three of the stars are aligned, those are gonna be your best deer hunting days.